You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Ready for an isometric, physics-based runner gun shooter? Retro Ninja might have you covered soon on the Atari BCS. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. I know it couldn't go another day without doing another news update. There seems to be one every day, which I'm thankful for. But um, I'm just glad it's spring break week. So <laughs> my load's a little lighter. So today, um, Retro Ninja um, tweeted out, I'm sorry, he posted on his YouTube a trailer for Polly Gunner. Um, and Club BCS, my dear friends there, uh, Sabretooth Retro posted this as well. Today, um, earlier this morning, a few hours ago, um, I had a premiere for that Atari show. It was late to the party. But anyway, here it is. So this trailer, I just saw it, guys. It took my breath away. So I can't wait to show it to you. Here it is. This is based on so much run on God shoot her. Isn't that amazing? I just freaking love this game already. Tony Barnes, AKA Retro Ninja, puts out some fantastic games. He's had a storied 40 year career in uh, the video game industry. I will probably be doing a dev spotlight on um, Tony Barnes in the near future. Hopefully he'll be able to do an interview with me as well for that. If not, it'll just be all, you, all stuff from the internet, you know, but I would love to hear his take on it too. So, I know he's been busy making this game because I meant to have him on that Atari show a few months ago and he was busy. But um, this looks amazing, Tony. I'm so excited for Polly Gunner. Um, and it uh, looks fantastic. I'm wondering if this is Project Orbit that I was reporting about. It looks a lot like it, for sure. Um, anyway, so excited. Uh, let me know down below what you think, of course. Um, this is going to be a first day purchase for me, on honestly. Um, I just love uh, Retro Ninja's games. BPM Boy, as I've said before, I've praised from the rooftops as my favorite Atari VCS game. Um, it is 20 bucks, but as I said before, I would have paid twice as much for it. So I, I expect probably the same out of this game. This looks amazing. I love space shooters. Um, I love them. I'm one of those guys that like Cybermorph, you know, one of the dozen or so in the world. But um, yeah, I just love it. Um, so. Uh, there's no word on when this is coming to the VCS, but Atari has definitely um, said it's coming to the VCS, as well as Tony Barnes has. Um, he's just fantastic. So um, what I did want to do really quickly is I did want to read you a little bit about Tony Barnes. Uh, I do think there is a bio out there, uh, perhaps on his webpage too. Uh, let me take a look here. Okay, here it is from uh the Retro Ninja webpage. Retro Ninja. Retro Ninja is an independent game developer owned and operated by industry veteran Tony Barnes, specializing in arcade oriented action adventure games on all leading platforms. Inspired by the likes of Treasure, Platinum, and Housemark, Retro Ninja is all about feeding gamers who want arcade games exactly what they want, combining old school flavor with new school cooking. Love it.
Tony Barnes. Tony Barnes has been making video games for over three decades, starting as a solo developer in the 8-bit days on Apple IIs, C64s, and his favorite, the Atari home computers. Definitely um, ditto there. He's contributed to and lead teams from a size of 1 up to hundreds. Specializing in action arcade games, Tony has provided art, music, code, production, and design leadership across dozens of products and platforms. Franchise builder, firefighter, and vision holder, many of Tony's project products have garnered awards and praise, and Tony himself has been given the auspicious honor of the Jerry Lawson Lifetime Achievement Award in 2019. Wow, that's awesome. No, um, never one to stand still, Tony maneuvers through genres, looking to gain as much knowledge as he can about his craft and to bring a special sauce to everything he touches. In 2020, Tony Barnes formed Retro Ninja to give himself an unfettered outlet for the types of games he enjoys creating. Focusing on arcade-oriented action adventure games, Tony intends for Retro Ninja to be the go-to for visceral action experiences. Barnes says, I'm laser focused on giving players action experiences they want versus trying to water things down for the masses and chasing trends. Really cool. In his past games here, it says BPM Boy, Strider 2014, Breakaway, Medal of Honor 2010, Killer Instinct, New World, Battleship, the movie game, The Grand Tour, UFOs Love Cows, love it, Axiom Overdrive, Midnight Club Los Angeles, Wrath Unleashed, The Executives, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, X-Files Resist or Serve, Star Trek DS9 The Fallen, Big Kahuna Reef Party, Dirty Harry, Biolabs Outbreak, The Goofy Gourmet, and of course the classics. We have Jungle Strike, Desert Strike, Urban Strike, and Nuclear Strike 64, Super Strike Trilogy, Design of Source 2, Super Spellicopter 2, love it, Stargate SG-1, Blood Omen Legacy of Kane, Future Cop LAPD, Crewball, General Chaos, Mutant League Football, 10-6, Berenstein Bears at Home Adventure, Zombie High, Berenstein Bears Fun with Colors, Berenstein Bears Jigsaw Fun, Berenstein Bears Learn About Letters, Compton's Multimedia Encyclopedia, Jet Moto 3, MX 2002 with Ricky Carmichael, Madden 94, EA's Bill Walsh College Football, Normie's Beach Babe Rama, Ghost Rider, and Harley's Humongous Adventure. So, um, oh, and there's more. Doomed, Zotroop, Escape from Hell, Shut Down, GFA Basic, and Archipelagos? I know I'm saying that wrong, but anyway, very story career, and I'm very excited about this game. Um, again, uh, this game is called Polygunner, P-O-L-Y-G-U-N-R, uh, and it looks like a fantastic indie game. I can't wait for it, Tony. Bring it on. Um, it's a great time to be an Atari fan, right? Every day, every week, there's news now about Atari. If I just did this show as a job, it, I, I would still be running after the stories. There's there's so much out there that's coming. So, anyway, let me know down below what you think. Thanks for watching. Get your Java on. Have a great spring break if you're off. And go play some Atari today. We'll see you guys later. Bye now. Mmm. Delicious. Activision presents the creepiest video game ever seen on the Atari 2600. Fighter, fighter, by Activision. Use your bug blaster to fight off swarm after swarm of very spooky spiders. Spiders, silly the spiders. Jumping line, multiplying spiders, silly the spiders. Bouncing, punching, watch out, crunching. Spider Fighter, designed by Larry Miller for Activision. You are, you are watching, watching. Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.